and good day. Today we're having a look at this. It's a newer LCD field monitor and I've got my little knife so we'll open it up and have a little look and see what's inside. Put the knife away. I don't think I'll use it again. Not on this I hope. And of course, as always, it sticks. Why do these boxes always? They're so tight. Anyway, let's have a look. We've got... Uh, looks like the screen. We'll have a look at that in a second. And we've got some instructions. We'll check them out in a few minutes. Bits and pieces. More bits and pieces. Little mount. Sunshade, it looks like. Yep, that's a sunshade, okay. And of course my favourite, silica gel. So we'll put all this aside. I'll come back in a second when I've got everything straightened out. And of course we're looking at this. This is the main part uh, in the actual box. So we'll open it up and have a quick look at it. I seem to be getting a lot of newer products lately. I've been <laughs> definitely looking and uh, buying these ones over all the others. I've been quite impressed with newer in general. They're pretty impressive. And as you can see, that's the, the battery, um, as I was saying earlier. So I've got plenty of these things, as oodles of them that I've got that fit. Oops, let me pop that in. There it goes. So we can turn that on in a second. Obviously, I need to have things connected. We've got light on, so we know that that's working. Okay. Yep. No signal because it's not connected. Okay, well we know that the unit works there. We got power to it. That's excellent. So turn it off in a sec. Take the battery out. Oh, we got a button. It looks like, have we? Oh yeah, release button. That's kind of handy. So a little little black release button on the side there. I'll put that battery aside. And when I say I've got quite a few of them, yeah, trust me, I've got quite a few of them. I use these on my uh, studio lighting. So we'll put this down. And we'll have a quick look at these little bits here. We've got some things on the other side too, it looks like. It's interesting how you often get a page which is a quick setup page or something they've missed in the book itself. I'm not certain what that is yet. I haven't uh, obviously looked at it yet. There's quite a few pages to read in here. So, As always, you can pause at any time and have a bit of a read if there's anything of interest. Quite a lot to read, it looks like, so I'll have to have a good read of this before I fire the thing up with the camera connected. Getting towards the end right now. And I chose the newer LCD monitor, the 7 inch one, um, because it seems to fit my needs. And I've already got batteries. There is a later model than this one, and you can actually have the battery uh, already in it. So it's got a uh, internal battery so you can charge. But as I said, I've got plenty of batteries, so I didn't worry about it. So I've gone for the uh, cheaper model, the older one. And that's this. And these are all the bits that came in it. You've got, obviously, the monitor itself. This is the little mount. We've got a USB, not a USB, I mean a um, HDMI cable, it looks like. Um, large connection to the mini for the camera or multi port or HDMI port I'm guessing now we've got of course the monitor itself which is this bit we've got the little connector this is the mount itself we might as well tear that out have a look at it that's a mount, it comes with a cold shoe mount on it, so that's uh, quite handy. We've got here HDMI cable, so 
so a bit of a look at that yep hdmi two small hdmi so mini hdmi and standard size and we've got some standard cables and fittings over here it looks like larger hdmi cable yep so a few bits and pieces we'll check them out later and of course as i said this is the little sunshade itself so that'll be handy especially in the australian climate that we've got the uh, sun all the time so we'll put all this together onto the camera and see what the thing looks like Now I've got everything laid out on the table as you can see, so we'll turn the monitor over and have a bit of a look at it. It's uh, nicely laid out, you've got a speaker on this side here, we've got a various jacks along the side, so the top one it says USB upgrade, which is this one, next one down is an OSD controller, you've got a headphone jack, AV out, you've got HDMI cable connector, that's a uh, mini one there, and you've got DC um, 12 volt, so you can actually run it to the mains or, of course, the battery itself. So it's pretty well, you know, fully integrated. Now, two cables, you've got the uh, micro and this one over here is the mini, they're both uh, HDMI uh, cables. It's interesting that they've even given a strain relief in this one. Uh, so that means that you can put down this little washer that goes over the top. You plug in one of these, uh, actually we might do it around the other way, do it the proper way, which is we'll plug in a USB cable, which goes into there, so that's in, put it down for the moment, put the washer over the top, we'll grab the little strain relief itself, pop it in, and just position it over the top. Now, it's a pretty handy little thing, it stops the cable from moving around and sort of accidentally pulling out so they're quite good the only downside is you can't have this on and the shade at the same time it doesn't fit so you have to choose one or the other depending on uh, you know <laughs> how you feel at the time now i'm connected to the camera so let's turn it on and check out the menu structure in this uh, unit and put it down on the table Okay, as you can see, HDMI, we're in uh, at the moment. We've got AV as well. We know that this is the volume up or volume down. We'll keep that down for the moment. This is your menu. Whoop, and press it. And you can oh, go back again. The arrow keys take you one way or the other. The B2 brings you down and you can select what you want. I don't wish to change anything at this point, so we'll just go out of the menu. You've got B1, which is centre marker, which puts a little cross in the middle there. It can be on or off. You've got uh, this one here, which is safe frames on or off again. Now, this is your red field. You've got uh, the three, green and blue. Go back to... Oh, mono, I forgot about that one. And we turn it off. F4 is focus assist on or off and that's pretty well your mode so pretty comprehensive fairly easy to understand and works that's uh, what we like the fact it works now one thing uh, with this newer that i'm not happy about this is an absolute fail is this little piece here it's junk don't use it the very first time i tried to tighten it up and you'll see in a second see the white little band there starting to pop out this thing right just falls apart so junk don't buy get rid of it replace it with a uh, one of these which is a small rig small rig make excellent mounts the best i've ever had highly recommend these the newer products are generally pretty good this is the first time i've had something uh, like an accessory from them that is junk the monitor itself nothing wrong with it but the accessory throw it in a bin and there's the lens of my sony camera looking at me and we're coming down and there's the monitor and it's working really well connects every single time i turn it on it's bright enough for indoors use good for outdoors as well as long as you've got the uh, little sunshade on haven't had any problems with it whatsoever hopefully you know you might have learned something give me a thumbs up thumbs down either way doesn't matter leave a comment appreciate that as well hopefully i'll get to see you on the very next video whatever it happens to be all the best till then
Bye for now.